Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I was browsing Reddit earlier today and an amazing user by the name of Haunter, three threes instead of the E at the end, he's managed to make a reshared uh, patch for games, which makes the vibrancy a lot nicer and makes them look similarly closer to an OLED switch level of vibrancy. Um, he states in his post that he's a photographer and he, he noticed that the Steam Deck screen wasn't as calibrated for colours as, as well as it should be. And to be honest, I've noticed that as well. The colours are a little bit lacklustre. It's a little bit um, unsaturated. Uh, and I don't, don't get me wrong, I, I don't like too saturated screens. Like the, the Vivid um, setting on the OLED switch is quite heavy. So in a lot of games, it does oversaturate stuff. But he's created um, a reshared mod where you literally just um, download the files. I'm gonna show you how to do it, but you download the files and then you drop it into the game that you want to basically enhance the colors of. Uh, I've used it in a couple of titles. I'm gonna show you an example. I used it in Inside, and then as you can see, it does look a lot better. He described it as, in some of the games, you're, the developers want you to see certain color tones, but the Steam Deck's display just cannot, does, doesn't show that off in, in its default state. So what he's done is made a vibrancy reshade, which kind of like shows the game as the developer intended it to, without oversaturating things. That's the main thing. It, it, the games don't look oversaturated. It does enhance them in the way that they it, they look a lot nicer than default. And anyway, we'll jump into it and have a look at them. But yeah, I'm going to show you how to do it. And big props to this dude. He's done a great job. So uh, welcome back, guys. This is the post I uh, clocked earlier. And this is him just showing it off in Death Stranding, which is really cool. And if we scroll into the comments, he's left a little guide here, but he's also left the drive where it's located. And all you have to do is download the file and head over to your downloads folder. If I just start a new instance. Downloads folder is a little bit cluttered at the minute. I need to uh, go through it and sort it out. But yeah, once you've got that downloaded, it'll be in a zip file. Here it is in the zip file. Right click on that. And then you just go extract and then extract archive here. Click that. Once you've done that, it should be in a file here. Reshared for Steam Deck. And all you need to do is open this file. And then we're going to navigate to our Steam library. Click library. And then you're going to pick a game you want this to try, you want this to work with. Some games don't work. He's got um, a kind of like a... If it's a DirectX 9 and below game, so quite an older title, there's quite a big workaround on how to get it working. But for the majority of titles which support DirectX 11 and 12, you should have no issues with this. All you need to do, and we'll use uh, Inside for an example. So as you can see inside here, right click on Inside, Manage, and then um, Browse Local Files. Right, there we go, guys. So once we have Inside's local files opened up, it'll just literally be the folder where Steam has installed the local files to. We're then gonna detach the tab so then we can literally drag and drop. You can copy and paste, it makes no difference. If that's easy for you, all you wanna do, select all these files. Copy like that, and then just paste into here. They're already in this folder for me, so all I need to do is, if they're not in the folder for you, you have any issues, it'll copy straight over. I'm just gonna click right into and apply to all because they're, like I said, they're already in, so I'm just recopying them in. So yeah, once you've done that, pretty much sorted. And that goes for every game you wanna do this for. You're literally just going into Steam, finding the game. This is all in desktop mode. Right click, manage, browse local files. It'll open up the folder and you're literally just pasting the reshared files into the local file of the game. And once you've done that, all you need to do is head back to return to home. So as you can see, we're now back in our game menu. All you need to do is click on play on the game that you've chosen. Like I said, I'm using inside an example, but you'll know it's working because you'll get a reshared notification in this top left corner. As you can see, it's just popped up there at the top, basically just saying reshared is enabled. And then that'll give you, if that doesn't show up when you load up the game, the game doesn't support the files that you've put into the, the game file and it won't work so if that hasn't shown up then it won't work for that game 
All we need to do now is just as, as a pure example, the colors do look really nice now, but you'd be probably thinking, well, how did I know if they look any better? It looks the same to me. Well, this is where we can do this. Go to controller settings and just for the sake of it, map one of these back paddles to the home key. And once you do that, the home key is literally what we're using to control the reshade uh, options. So I'll just turn this performance down. So once we've done that, we can press the back paddle which we map to the home key and that'll open up our reshade menu. And we can use the touch screen as a, as a mouse and as you can see, a vibrancy check is ticked here. And if I untick, untick this, you need to look closely on the floor because the floor for me uh, shows like a nice yellow color with the vibrancy enabled. It's very subtle, but once you clock it, I guess it's not that subtle on, a, on, on camera. It's a little bit more pronounced, but yeah, as you can see the yellow uh, it just brings out the colour a lot nicer and that's the way the game was intended because you've got the light shining down just creating a yellow hue on the floor here and if we go to how the game originally looked it's very grey and washed out but if I was playing this without this reshade I probably wouldn't have really noticed it but now that we have this reshade capability it just brings out the colours a lot nicer and everything looks a bit more saturated and more natural to the how the game was supposed to look in the first place but yeah Massive props to this dude. I'm going to leave all the stuff in the in the description. I'm going to, obviously, I take no credit for this. I'm just showing you guys how to install it. As If you have any questions, let me know. But it should work in the majority of newer titles. So you shouldn't have any issues with that. And it should just make your colours look a lot more vibrant and pop them out of the screen a bit more. Like I say, if you are not really bothered about going into detail of copy and pasting, it won't make a huge difference, but... Once you get used to doing it in the in the games, you shouldn't have any problem with doing it. It should be pretty straightforward. But yeah, it does just all you need to do is you don't even need to touch that. That was me just showing you what it's like without it on. But yeah, it should just make your games look a lot nicer. Uh subtly though. So not too much, but yeah. More close to like how a, a proper higher quality IPS panel should look. So there we go guys. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you for watching.